Good morning, Kenilworth. I'm Marissa. And I'm Natalie. And this is KTV for Monday, December 13th, 2021. Just a heads up, the schedule this week for finals will be very different from our usual schedule. Pay attention so you know which day you will have, have your classes. Today and tomorrow are your last regular A and B days. On Wednesday, you will start with third period, then have a break, and then go to sixth period. Thursday will be finals for fourth and fifth periods, and you'll end the week on Friday with first and second period finals. Each finals class will be two hours long, and you'll have a 20-minute snack break in between. School will end at 12:35 on finals day, so you don't have so you don't have a lunch break at school on those days. Plan ahead so you can end your semester strong. Let's hop right into library news. Have you finished reading your library book? I think someone else might be waiting to read it. Return your overdue books before break and get a new one to enjoy over those two weeks off. Get those overdue library books returned so other students may enjoy them. Also bring, bring your student ID card to check out the items from the library. They can scan the barcode to serve you more quickly and efficiently. Let's see what's for lunch today. You have a choice of chicken, chicken sandwich, turkey ham and cheese hoagie, Big Daddy's pepperoni pizza, and finally we have the option of cheese and green chili tamale. Now let's check in with Abby for today's cheesy joke. I mean weather forecast. Thanks, Marissa. For today's weather, we have a high of 51, a low of 42, and there's a 100% chance of rain. Tomorrow, we also have a 100% chance of rain with a high of 48 and a low of 49, 39. On Wednesday, we have a high of 50 and a low of 43, and we also have a chance of rain for that day. Get ready to stay dry in the rain. Walk under covered walkways and don't stand out in the middle of the quad. Now, on to today's weather joke. Did you hear the weather forecast for the Hip Hop Festival? They're calling for Lil Wayne. Now back to Nat and Marissa in the KTV studio. Thank you, Abby. But we have to move on to sports because we're running out of weather studio insults. Now on to Maddie in the sports corner. Thanks, Nat. And some more sports history news. In 1952, the NFL's Dallas Texans, former Boston Yankees, played their last game, losing to the Detroit Lions and finishing with a record of 1-11. to In more sports history, in 1931, the National Football League Championship, the Green Bay Packers won their third straight first, past the post title. Since winter break is almost here, here is how you can stay fit during these winter weeks. An activity you can do is a game of catch. Just make sure you are in a large area so you do not damage anything. You can also go on a walk or play tag with your friends. Have an active and healthy break, Colts. Now let's head back to Nat Marissa in the KTV studio. Thanks for the lack of bad jokes, Maddie. Now, now in club news, the Anime Club meets today uh, at lunch in room 34. Come check it out. What? Che come check out what they are watching. All are welcome. Now let's learn something about our history with today's patriotic moment. On December 6, 1884 in Washington, D.C., workers placed a nine-inch aluminum period atop a tower of white marble, completing the construction of an impressive monument to the city's namesake and the nation's first president, George Washington. It wasn't until 1832, however, 33 years after Washington's death, that anyone really did anything about the monument. That year, a private Washington National Monument Society was formed. After holding a design competition and choosing an elaborate Greek temple-like design by architect Robert Mills, the society began to fundraise and jab to raise money for the statue's construction. These efforts, including appeals to the nation's school children, raised some $230,000, far short of the $1 million needed. Construction began anyway. On July 4, 1848, as representatives of the society laid the cornerstone of this monument, a 24,500-pound block of pure white marble. Six years later, with funds running low, construction was halted. 
Made of some 36,000 blocks of marble and granite stacked 555 feet in the air, the monument was the tallest structure in the world. Thanks, Alexa. I can't believe how expensive it was to build something way back in the mid-1850s. It's amazing those beautiful monuments even got built. I hope I can see them on the trip to Washington, D.C. next year. Well, that's it for today, Colts. Pay attention in to the finals schedule so you know which class to start with each day. And return your library books before break. And, and that's KTV! KTV.